Hey everyone, in this video we're going to look at how we can print on custom paper sizes with the Epson XP970 printer. So I've got a few videos on my channel about photography printing and in those videos I'm using the Epson XP970 which is a great little printer, it's really good for the money and you get some great results if you're on a budget. And I didn't really expect those videos to do particularly well but they're actually some of my most viewed videos. And one of the questions I get asked most in the comments is how do you set the printer up to print on non-standard or custom paper sizes? So that's what this video is going to be about. I'm not going to cover anything else such as image quality or colour settings. It's just going to be about those custom sizes. And I know it's not going to be interesting to everyone, but it will be quite brief and I hope it will help out those people struggling with custom sizes. Okay, so there's two important things you need to remember when printing custom sizes or smaller than A4 sizes with the XP970. The first is that you've got to use the rear paper feed, so not the cassette feed, it's the manual rear feed. And the second is that you're going to need to print from a computer, so not using an SD card or anything like that directly from the printer. You're going to have to use software on your computer to print to the printer. So I'm using Lightroom, but you can use your software of choice. All you need to make sure is that it's got these two settings that in Lightroom are down here on the bottom left. And that's page setup and print settings. If you've got those, you're good to go. So here is an image which is turned on its side at the moment, but it's actually a shot of Lady Bower Reservoir from Bamford Edge. And the first thing I'm going to do is just set this to the size that I'm going to print on. And to start with, I'm going to print at A5. So that is a standard size, but it's smaller than A4. And I'm going to come down here to cell size and just bring that down. In fact, I can just type in this box. I want my height to be 21 centimeters and the width to be 14.8, so that's the size of A5. But as you can see, this is currently set to A3 paper. So I need to come down here to page setup, click that, I can choose A5, and I'm just gonna set it on landscape, click OK. Doesn't really matter if you have it on portrait or landscape for printing, you will have to insert your paper into the feed in a portrait or vertical format but all it means when you set it to landscape is that you can see your image the right way around if it is landscape. And when I say landscape, I don't mean a shot of a landscape. I mean horizontal format, which is often called landscape format. Okay, so that's looking about right now. But we need to come into print settings down here on the left. Paper handling. We can just double check that our destination paper size is A5. It is greyed out. If you click scale to fit paper size, you can see you can change that, but we don't need to do that. It's already set to A5. We've done that in page setup. Click save. And I'm not going to cover any of the other settings down here because I've done that in other videos. But, you know, just select all your paper and color management and sharpening and things like that and come down to print. So A5 is a slightly less usual size, but it is still standard. But what if you want to print something that's completely custom, completely different size? I'm going to print now on a square format, and I'm going to basically just square off the A5, so it will be 14.8 square. So I'll just come down here to cell size. You'll see in here it's actually 14.20. That's because we've got a slight margin set up here. So I'll just put 14.20 in the other side. That squares it off, but we're still on the A5 paper. So I'll come into page setup, click on the paper size, and now we want to come down to the bottom and click manage custom sizes. So when we click that, it opens up this box. And at the minute we can't click in these boxes, but what we need to do is click this little plus sign down here in the bottom left. Just bear in mind at the moment, I am working on a Mac running OS X. 
If you're using a PC with Windows, this might look slightly different, but hopefully you've got all the same settings. So I'll click on the little plus. That allows me to create a new preset. I can give that a name. I'll call it square 14.8. And now I can click in the boxes. These are actually set to millimeters. So I'm just gonna put 148 in there, 148 in there. Margins, we can set those if we put in free all the way around and click OK. And I'll leave it on landscape, click OK. And you see that now sets our paper size and we've got our image set to the right size in the middle with some slight margins. Change anything else that you might need to in your software settings and once again click print. So I hope you found that useful. If you have, please just give me a thumbs up down below. That helps the video get shared a little bit more widely. I get more views and more people get to find out this information. So hopefully everyone wins. If you are a regular and you sat through this and perhaps it's not the most interesting video for you, I really do appreciate it. Massive thanks for that. Or if you are new to the channel, which I expect you might be, and you're not yet subscribed and you'd like to do so, you can just click down there on the big red button or over here on this picture of me and that way you'll stay up to date with everything I'm doing each and every week. There's a new video every Sunday morning at 10am UK time. So I'm usually out and about doing something like landscape or macro. If you like that kind of thing, I hope you'll tune in for the next one. But until then, thanks a lot everyone and bye for now.